hey guys this is siri and welcome back to my youtube channel how you doing coming at you again with my one and only beanie i know you guys already know this beanie by now it's in every vlog now i should probably go get a new beanie to be honest but anyways welcome to my youtube channel guys so guys this vlog is gonna be from the title like i already stated in the title it's gonna be about me preparing to travel out of korea Yes, I am traveling out of Korea. I've been in Korea now for almost three years. February 2021. It's gonna make it three years I've been in Korea and I haven't left Korea since I've been here. But I'm prepping to travel. By the time this vlog goes up, I most definitely would have been where I am going to. So I can tell you guys, I'm traveling to Canada. Yeah guys, I'm going to Canada and um, Traveling is not as it used to be before everybody knows due to COVID things are like Different you can't just pack your bags and go to the airport or buy a ticket and go to the airport They are like things you have to do now um, Put in place. Um, there are some laws the Korean government has put in place for Foreigners who are who have long stay visa like me um, If you want to get back into the country, they have some things you have to do now. So yeah I'm just gonna show you guys what I get up to this vlog is gonna it's gonna be like on different days so i'm not going to complete the whole vlog today because this what i'm going to do today is just one of the many things i have to do to prepare myself for the trip so i'm just going to carry you guys along show you guys um everything that i do to prepare myself for my trip to canada so yeah if you haven't subscribed if you haven't subscribed click that subscribe button if you subscribe thank you for coming back to watch another video so guys what am i doing today so today i am going to the immigration office um now as a long-term if you have a long-term visa in korea if you want to leave the country you have to apply online for re-entry permit you didn't have to do that before before you can just travel and then when you get back at the immigration you just show like your arc card which is kind of like a residency card you just should have at the immigration and they let you back in but that's not what it is anymore now you have to go online to apply for re-entry permits and then you have to go to the immigration office which is what i'm going to do today and then you have to go to the immigration office and do some paperwork and then just put some stamp in your passport i don't know that's what the internet says so yeah that's what i'm gonna do today and um yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along obviously i'm not gonna be able to vlog inside the immigration office but i'm just gonna take you guys along with me on this my living career preparation journey so yeah guys i'm not even gonna lie traveling right now it's not even fun i'm excited but not excited at the same time it's just all weird and expensive at the same time like it's so super expensive to travel now because of covid let's not even talk about that i'll talk about that in another video but yeah let's go <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It is a snowy morning here in Korea. It's Saturday, January 2nd. And yeah, guys, the last clip you saw of this vlog was from up. I don't know if you guys can hear me, I'm literally on the road. But the last clip you saw of this vlog is from about almost three weeks ago now. I haven't really done anything regarding prep. But today I'm gonna go make my hair. I'll be making braids because even though it's winter time, I'm traveling and braids is just the perfect hairstyle for when I'm traveling because I don't have to do too much. I don't have to bother about dry styling my hair in the morning when I wake up. You just go. It's not like I'm even going anywhere because there's corona in the land. But yeah, so I'm gonna go make braids and I'm going to my stylist deli. So yeah, it's snowing. It's been like snowing on and off for like three days now so anyways i'm supposed to be there for nine o'clock and it's probably like 8 15 now i can adjust to see my watch it's probably like 8 15 8 20 i'm gonna take a bus or a taxi depending on which of if i find a taxi first i'll take a taxi if not um, i'm walking to the bus stop anyways if i find a taxi on my way to the bus stop i'll take a taxi if not i'll take the bus but yeah let's go <music>
Hey guys, I'm with Delhi, but she says she doesn't want to show us them. <laughs> guys, I'm doing like singles and I'm using this color today. Hey guys. <laughs> I decided to try something new because I always go for like black color. I'm like, you know what? Let us mix it up a bit in this 2021. You know, we have to shine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the color. I'm using Delhi. Which brand is this? Is this Expression? Yes, Expression. This is from Expression. Mm -hmm. So, I trust Delhi Sha. So, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not worried. Delhi is my girl. She's going to hook me up real good. And I'm going to show you guys the the finished look when we are done it's like almost 9 30 we should be starting anytime soon mm -hmm. i'm hoping i leave here soon because braids eh? oh it takes too long no, I'm not like daily that. how many hours do you think let's say four hours four hours so by like three o'clock mm -hmm. not three o'clock no, two o'clock like by two o'clock all right daily said by two o'clock i'm gonna add one more hour and say yeah. three o'clock so i'll come back to you guys and show you guys the finished product when we are done okay mm -hmm. <laughs> hey guys, so we are done. This is the length. It's like long but not super long and i'm really loving this color on me guys i'm not even gonna lie i don't think i've ever done this kind of color when it comes to braids i always just stick to black but this time around i wanted to try something else and i'm loving this so what we're just gonna do now is to put the hair in hot water so it relaxes because it's a little bit stiff now so when you put it in hot water it's gonna make it less stiffer it's gonna relax the hair that's literally the last thing we have to do now deadly has gone to put the water on the fire and yeah, um, as per time, it's literally 2.33. So Delhi was on time. Delhi said she was going to be done by 2. So 33 minutes after we're done. I said we're going to be done by 3 o'clock. So Delhi won when it, comes, when it came to time. She was so fast. We literally said like, what, 11.30, right? Yeah, we're really fast. And it's not painful, just the front, which is expected. But it feels nice. Thank you. <laughs> bye, Delhi. Thank, Thank you for coming. No See problem. You. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Take care. Be careful. Yes, yes, yes. Bye, bye. 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 You okay, no worries. I take care. Hey, guys. So, finished my hair. There's a good light here. What do we think? Do we love it? Let me take my mask off. Are we pretty or what? Guys, I really love this hair color. I put my mask back on because I'm heading outside. How do you open this door? Okay. Guys, I really love this hair. I love the color. I've never... Where's the good lights? Anyways, I can't find the good lights. I've never done a color like this before, but I really, really love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, it's so cold. I'm heading downtown now to go meet Carson for lunch. It's like um, maybe 2.40, 2.45-ish. So I'm going to go meet him for lunch. The hair doesn't even hurt at all. Like This is the first time I'm making braids that I don't even feel the pain, except like on the front side, like the front. But besides that, it's really fine. But yeah, guys, um, yeah, I'm heading downtown now. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. So today is Monday, January 4th. Yes, because tomorrow is our anniversary and Carson's birthday. Yeah. Today is January 4th and I officially have 
seven days left in korea oh god my brows are crazy i officially have seven days left in korea before i travel oh my god the trip is coming by so quickly but anyway still on prep still on things i'm getting ready for for my trip so today um the plan is to go to the bank i need to go pay some of our uh, house bills um and then i need to do some shopping shopping for some like some things i found key or i think are key things i need to take with me like some snacks <laughs> and i'm not gonna be able to get for a while i am gonna go do shopping for that and as always i'm gonna bring you guys along and show you guys what i'm up to so yeah that's the plan for today go to the bank go to the shops and then pretty much come back home and just counting the days till my trip gets like to this day for me to travel anyway guys let's go oh by the way i would love in the hair and guys outfit of today i'm wearing these joggers from h&m because today i don't care lazy outfit i'm wearing this top this jumper top from one of them korean shops here and this beanie or as canadians would call it a took from h&m that is my slouchy lazy outfit of the day i'm all about comfortability at this point in my life like i don't care but anyways i just want to show you guys um what i'm wearing so yeah let's go let's go I'm back home now it's currently two o'clock on the dot i'm so tired i'm so hungry i've eaten today but i just thought i should uh quickly show you guys like do a quick haul of the things i bought that um i'm gonna be taking with me to korea so first i bought um two tripod for my phone for vlogging i just decided to get two just in case and then i bought wet tissue i know i can get this in canada but i might as well buy them here so i don't have to go shopping when i'm there <laughs> and i got a mirror that i can take with me just in case um i bought masks i bought two masks these things in here you go through them so quickly i bought two masks i have one more pack at home i think that would be enough considering the fact that i'm really not planning to go anywhere much when i'm there so i won't be going outdoors very often so i think three packs would be enough for me i bought some tights because it is cold in canada and i'm not about to freeze my legs up i bought two and i just bought um a screen screen guards just for my phone this one is just random and what else Oh, I bought a lip balm because I needed one. Oh, I need one. So that's from Daiso. And at Daiso, I spent 23 bucks. Just 23 bucks, which is not bad. And then I went on to Lotte. Lotte is more of like a grocery store. Daiso is for little knickknacks here and there. But Lotte is for like groceries. So at Do Lotte is where I picked up snacks. So I picked up this um honey butter almond they're so good and uh tiramisu almond guys these things banged oh my god i can't even decide which one i love the most we only started eat, trying this tiramisu one recently and we love it i bought these two i'm going i think this two is enough that i'm going to take with me um yeah i bought these two and then <laughs> this one you guys are going to be like what noodles i bought the samyang spicy ramen noodles now i don't know if I, i'll be able to find this one in canada that's why i bought it i probably might but i don't want to risk it so i bought 
<laughs> I bought two packs. There's five in each pack. I bought two packs. So I have ten. I think ten will be enough. This <laughs> This is the other pack right here. Guys, I love my noodles. Like seriously. I'm not even gonna lie. I love my noodles. So there is definitely no shame. And um I bought cheese biscuits i'm pretty sure i can find these in canada but i just wanted to get them from here anyways i bought reed's what's the reed's cheese biscuits these are my favorite ones currently so i bought two packs and that's all when it comes to like groceries i just bought other stuff for the house like bread and avocado that i'm gonna eat anyways and at lote i spent 42 42 8.80 call it 43 bucks that's what i spent at lote and just other little knickknacks that i bought here and there that i would need i bought oh guys today i bought eye cream so oh, it's a new year by june your girl is going to be turning 29 i'm getting old i decided it's about time i start investing in eye cream for like my under eyes you guys can see this is for wrinkle anti-aging firming and lifting we need to start lifting this under eye up seriously we're not slacking so i bought this i think this was like there's a receipt somewhere i can't find the receipt anymore but i think um this was like 30 bucks or something and just in here they gave me little samples of like their products to try and this is from innisfree innisfree brand is a korean brand and lastly guys last item to show y'all is i just bought um eye pencil and uh mascara and what did she give me here this is free that she gave to me this is uh oh she gave me face masks for free so yeah guys these are the items that i bought that i'm gonna be taking with me to canada i think when it comes to like items i'll be taking with me to canada i've pretty much done everything just one more thing left that i'm gonna buy um some other time and the last thing i really need to do before like when it comes to preparations for like my trip the last thing i need to do so um the last thing i need to do when it comes to preparation for my trip is i need to do a covid test and i am dreading doing that because i've asked everybody i know that i know i've done covid tests and they're like yeah that that thing is painful like it goes up into your nose like it's so uncomfortable and it's painful they're like it goes by quick the thing happens quick but that quickness is painful so i have to do that because canada now has a law compulsory they didn't until i think until on the 30th of december they put a law that for anybody coming into the country you have to do a covid test i was gonna do it anyways even when it wasn't a law i was just gonna do it anyways just to have it just in case but now they put it in the law that you have to have covid tests and negative covid test to enter the country so yeah i'm gonna go get my test done they said they need a test of not later than 72 hours from when you're ent entering the country so two days old test from when you're entering the country and in korea you get your test results on the same day so i'm gonna go do mine on monday a day before i travel fingers crossed i mean i know i'm covid free but i mean well fingers crossed i'm covid free i mean if you're seeing this vlog that means i'm covid free because i'm in canada and they let me into the country because i ain't got no covid but yeah um the next thing i'm gonna pick you guys up is probably gonna be next week monday because today is monday so a week from now when i'm going to the hospital to get my covid test done and that's gonna be the last thing i need to do when it comes to preparation my trip is coming it's coming guys it's coming this week is gonna go by so fast but yeah, I'm going to pick you guys up again uh, when I'm off, when I'm on my way to go get my test. Hi guys. Good morning. It is January 11. I fly out tomorrow. Ah, and I'm just about to go to the hospital now to get COVID test. I did call on Saturday, on Friday to ask them if I needed to book an appointment or it's just walking and they said it's just walking I don't need to book an appointment and that it takes five hours to get my test back so I'm gonna be getting my test back today which is good so it's um, like it's 30 so depending on when I get there depending on when I do it by the end of the day I will have to go back to get my test but yeah guys 
I am not looking forward to doing COVID tests. I shouldn't have asked people that I know that have done it how horrible the test is, but I did ask and nobody said anything good. Everybody's like, yeah, it is painful because it has to do the it has to be the nose swab one. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog the process. I'm gonna ask if I can vlog it. Um, if I can vlog it, I'll show you guys. If not, I'm sorry. But yeah, this is the last thing I have to do when it comes to preparation for my trip. I've done everything else to the best of my knowledge. So yeah, um, let's go to the hospital, guys. I don't think I can vlog the hospital itself because it's a hospital, you know. But I'll see if I can vlog me sitting down getting the thing done. If not, I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> So guys, I'm at the hospital. I just filled up this form now and I'm waiting for them to call me in to get the test. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film in there, but I'm here already. Okay guys, this is not funny. <laughs> One of the ladies here just came and took my temperature and my temperature is 37 and then she goes do you have a fever i'm like no i don't have a fever well of all days today my temperature decides to be 37. i don't have no fever i don't feel anything so my body better not be playing with me today of all days but yeah <laughs> oh my god i hate this a few inches later oh my god guys i just finished and Oh, that thing was painful and uncomfortable. I don't ever want to do it again. Oh my god, my nose hurts. They literally take the thing up into your nose. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna be back at 3.30 to get my results. So, y'all pray for me. <laughs> I need this test to be negative. Anyway guys, I gotta go home now. Oh, this thing is uncomfortable. Bye guys. Hey guys. Babe, say hi. Mm -hmm. So guys, I am back to the hospital. Just leaving actually. I got my COVID test. A bitch is negative. You <laughs> no knew that already. No COVID right here. I am prepped and ready to go. The last thing I have to do now is pack my bags. So yeah guys, I'm ready to travel. I've done all my prep I need and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for prepping with me as i embark on this journey <laughs> i'm saying it like it's some extra thing but anyway guys thank you so much for watching the light is very bad because the weather is gloomy outside but if you like this video thumbs up subscribe if you aren't subscribed and uh see you in my next one baby say bye see ya Thank you.